in this simple ball game, you tilt the board to try and get the ball to go through the holes and score points. In this first tutorial, I'll show you how to make the board. With the default cube selected, I'm going to click the Object button in the Properties window. I'm going to set the X scale to be 8, the Y scale to be 8, and the Z scale to be 0.1. To have more than one view as I make the board, I'm going to drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window. I'm going to drag to close the tool shelf in the new window. I'm going to change the view in the old window to the top view. And I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view so that the red arrow, which is the X direction, is pointing to the right. Before I make the holes, I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to click the subdivide button and change the number of cuts to two. And that gives me three regions in which to make the holes. Go back into object mode. To make a hole in the board, I'm going to add mesh cylinder. I'm going to make the cylinder bigger by pressing S to scale followed by 1.5 and enter. I'm going to set the Y location to be 6 and I'm going to change the view in the left window from perspective to orthogonal. With the cylinder going through the board, select the board and click the modifiers button. Click add modifier and boolean. In the object field select the cylinder change the operation to difference. Now the cylinder has been subtracted from the board and if I hide the cylinder we see the hole. Click the apply button to apply the boolean modifier. Select the cylinder, click the object button. I'm going to make the cylinder smaller by entering 1.2 for its x scale and 1.2 for its y scale. And I'm going to move it into the corner 6.5 for its X location and 6.5 for its Y location. Select the board, click the modifiers button, click add modifier, boolean, select the cylinder, change the operation to difference and click apply. Select the cylinder and click the object properties button. Set the X location to be minus 6.5. Select the board, click the modifiers button, click add modifier, boolean. Set the object to be cylinder and the operation to be difference and apply. Select the cylinder and delete it. Before I add text, I'm going to change the color of the board to green. Select the board. Drag to make the properties window wider, click the material button and change the name of the material to board. Click on the diffuse color and drag the red and blue values to make them zero. In the add menu, add text. Move the text in front of the board by dragging on the tip of the blue arrow. Click the object properties of the text, zoom in with the mouse wheel and move the text up and down till it is level with the board. It is level with the board with a Z value of 0.1. To make the text just in front of the board, I'm going to set the Z value to be 0.101. With the text selected, click the object data button. Scroll down and set the size to three and alignment to center. I'm going to load in a font, so I'm going to click the folder icon. On my Windows system, fonts are in Drive C, Windows folder. Scroll across to find a folder called Fonts, and I'm going to select a Times Bold font. Click the Material button, and click the Add New Material button. Name the new material text, and click the Diffuse color and make it red by dragging the green and blue values to zero. Go into edit mode and change the text to 10. Go back into object mode, 
click the object button and set the X location to 6.5 and the Y location to 3.5. Hold down shift and press D to duplicate again, press enter, set the X location to be 0 and the Y location to be 2.7, go into edit mode, change the 10 to 5 and back into object mode. With the 5 selected hold down shift and select both 10s. With all the text selected in the object menu, convert to mesh. With the three text objects selected, hold down shift and select the board and click the join button. We now have a single object which I'm going to rename board. With the board finished, drag on the white diagonal lines to close one of the windows. That's the end of the tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to use the board in the game engine to make a simple ball game. I'll put the finished file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.